This screencast contain, uh, pertains to Module 4, Lesson 6, where we relate uh, fractions as division to fractions as parts of sets. And this is one of these lessons where there's some modeling. It's, it's not incredibly complex, but this, is, this leads to frustration on the parts of students and parents sometimes if they don't understand what's expected. So we'll give you a hand. Okay, we have D here, and there's uh, several problems. I'm going to just focus on one. I'm going to discuss it a little further than uh, what we have here, and I'm going to show some more examples to uh, flesh this out. If we look at this, we're dealing with a, a whole of 24. And if we look here, we have, if we counted all these, we would have 24, but we're going to multiply 3, and how many groups of three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight groups of three, and that gives us a whole of 24. So if I made a tape diagram, I'd bracket the top and put 24. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, we'll just make a little space here. And we can say that's all 24 to relate it with some of our modeling. So since it's uh, divided into eight parts, You'll notice that all of the fractions that we're dealing with here are eighths. We have one eighth, three eighths, four eighths, uh, six eighths, seven eighths. We'll discuss a few others as well. Well, if I'm looking at this, if I want one eighth, I would be bracketing one of these groups here. Um, so I would bracket that right there. And what do I have? I have three. So one eighth of three is three, one eighth of 24 is 3. Continuing, 3 eighths of 24. Now again, if I were to bracket it, I would have a bracket spanning three of these partitions here. And if I counted them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I see that 3 eighths is 9. 20, uh, 3 eighths of 24 is 9. 4 eighths. Again, if we had another bracket here, we would bracket four of these, and four times three is 12. So four eighths of 24 is 12. Six eighths, again, we bracket six, but we're seeing a pattern here, aren't we? I see that uh, this is one times three, this is three times three, this is four times three, if we get 12, and six times three is 18, and again, if we looked at this, we would see that indeed we have 18 because I have 1, 2, 3. Let's uh, get that pointer going here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 groups of 3, that's 18. So 7 eighths of, tw of 24 is 21. Now, on your homework, you have some uh, problems that are more complex, so I'm, I'm going to continue this. What about 8 eighths? Well, 8 eighths of 24 equals 24. If I counted all those, I'd have 8 groups of 3, making 24. What if we do something like this? What if I say 9 eighths of 24? Well, our, that goes beyond our model, but we can still use our pattern that we saw throughout here. Again, 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 7 times 3 is 21. 8 times 3 is 24. 9 times 3 is... 27. And we can go onward to uh, greater numbers. I could uh, say what is 11 eighths of 24. And we know that 1 eighth, once again, 1 eighth is 3. So 11 eighths would be 33. Find 4 sevenths of 14. Draw a set and shade to show your thinking. All right. We're going to make our drawing here. We've got 14. And we're going to have to have them in seven different groups. Well, I know that 14 divided by 7 is 2. So we're going to start by making 14 circles in groups of 2. So we're going to partition these into groups of 2. And like a tape diagram, I could bracket the top call it 14. And we want to find 7 fourteenths, so that would give me, uh, or 4 sevenths rather, 
and that would be four of these groups. Each group has two, so I'd have uh, four sevenths of 14 equals, make that a 14. Now well, let's count them. I'm not going to shade them as a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the answer is four sevenths of 14 is eight. How does knowing one eighth of 24 help you find three eighths of 24? Draw a picture to show your thinking. Well, we pretty much explored this problem when we looked at the first one that we did in this lesson. Um, so let's do the modeling. So I have 24, and I know that 24 divided by 8 is 3, so I'm going to have 24 in groups of 3, just like we had on that first problem that we did on the screencast. But again, the modeling is important. You're not going to be asked to solve problems this way. But sometimes you need to uh, be able to show your thinking using diagrams. And also this deepens your understanding of what's going on when we do these operations. So now we'll partition this with lines. And I could put a bracket over there. I don't really have the space, but we know that's 24. And if I do this, I have 3 eighths of 24. I could shade those, but I think the bracket does it. But, well, what the heck, let's go do it. We'll shade these in. And we see that we have 9. Well, we need to make an expl explanation. It's like, once I, once I knew one eighth of 24 is 3, then to find 3 eighths is 3 groups of 3. And 3 times 3 equals 9. Therefore, 3 eighths of 24 equals 9. There are 32 students in a class. Of the class, 3 eighths of the students bring their own lunches. How many students bring their own lunches? We'll do this with modeling once again. And we will use uh, circles once again. So I have 32, and I know that 32 divided by 8 is 4, so I'm going to have 8 groups of 4. Again, you could use other things. You could use X's, whatever. Uh, as long as you use those brackets, we won't have to necessarily shade each of these in. And that's eight groups of four equaling 32. We'll now partition each of these with a vertical line. And I want three eighths. So I'm going to bracket three of these groups. That's three eighths of 32. And I could say that one-eighth is four, therefore three-eighths is three times four, which equals twelve. Or I could count them up, and the answer is twelve. And again, I should make that statement on my homework. Twelve students bring in their lunches. Jack collected eighteen ten-dollar bills while selling tickets for a show. He gave one-sixth of the bills to the theater and kept the rest. How much money did he keep? That sounds like a pretty good gig. Well, we need to represent those $10 bills. This time I shall uh, once again use my circles. We have 18 in all, and we have 6. So 18 divided by 6 is 3. So 
We need six groups of three to represent the whole, which is 18. Partition. Okay, so one sixth. Bracket it here. We have the T for the theater. And five six is he kept. So we will label this one sixth, and this will be five six. So how much did he keep is the question. So he kept five six of. 18, and remember these are $10 bills. So 5 sixths of 18, we know 1 sixth is 3, therefore 5 sixths is 15. We, if we counted these, we would see that we have three groups of, or in five groups of 3, which is uh, 15. So how much does he keep? He keeps 15. $10 bills. We'll express that as money. What's 15 $10 bills? 15 times $10 equals $150. And again, we should make the statement, Jack kept 15 $10 bills, which is $150.